And there are dozens of people still here in the park tonight and all of their tents and belongings still here. Many of them told us they don't know where they'll go. They say it's cool for the city to enforce the ban, especially in this kind of weather. 1 p.m. People's Park in Tacoma. After a 72 hour warning, this was the moment when a ban on some tents in Tacoma parks would go into effect. But the time came and went with dozens of tents still standing, the people living in them huddled inside, fearing the worst. If they force everyone out at one, that, in my opinion, is a little inhumane. Only one couple was done waiting. It's survival of the fittest out here. They have no clear plan. We find somewhere to go. <laughs> but they know staying here and risking having their tent taken is not an option. This is what it is. You have to deal with it. Because otherwise, what are you going to do? You're just going to be they wet and complain and, and sit there and die and we get hypothermia. So might as well do something, try to stay alive. City officials say there are no plans to forcibly drive the homeless out. We're not. Um, arresting anyone or criminalizing homelessness in any way. But there's a catch. Sometime later this week, the city will shut the park down to clean it, and it must be cleared by then. What will be your strategy for responding to those folks who say that they will not be leaving? Um, that is, I, that's going to have to be dealt with on a case-by-case -case basis. I, I'm, we're hoping that we can move everyone into shelter options. But volunteers like Zoe with Tacoma Mutual Aid Collective say there are more people in the park than there are shelter beds in Tacoma. And in the coming days, they're facing a wave of bad weather. Where are they supposed to go? Destroying people's tents in this weather is like frankly criminal. Elder Greg Bronston is director of the New Jerusalem Food Pantry. He says another problem is that those living here have been unable to get into the shelters that have strict rules about drug and alcohol use. The housing is only, it's only, it's only a limit to so many people. And then they gotta uh, be able to pass uh, uh, the intake process. So they're holding their ground and waiting while the storm swirls around them. Now, once the park closes for cleanup, it'll stay closed for a few days, and then we're told it will reopen early next week. As to whether there are enough beds to accommodate the folks here, we couldn't really get a straight answer on that. The city says there are about there's room for about 38 people in shelters, but uh, some of the volunteers we spoke to said there are twice that number of people living here. Live in Tacoma, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News.